So there's gents, same old, same old, in terms of the warm up, we get our heart rate going, we get that blood and oxygen around our working body, in for the main part of the workout. So, we are gonna get going, we're gonna start jogging on the spot. Up and down, up and down, pumping those arms up and down, getting into that rhythm. Good start. Finding that breathing technique in through the nose, out through the mouth. That's generally the best one for exercise. Good, finding your rhythm, finding your flow. Okay, now we're just gonna move from side to side, jogging on the spot. Just getting our body moving in a different plane of motion. Good stuff. 10 more seconds of this, and then we're going to a bit of a dynamic warm up. Good, okay. Now we're gonna get going to some dynamic uh, side, side lunge stretching. So what we're gonna do is we're gonna have our feet slightly wide and hip width apart. And all we're gonna do is we're just gonna, we're gonna start, we'll go to our left side. So we're gonna bend our left leg slightly, keep our right leg straight, holding out for two seconds, coming up to the top, and then coming down to your right. Bending down, bending that right leg, keeping that left leg straight. You'll be feeling a slight stretch in the inner thigh region, going down into your hamstrings. Good, two more on each side. Not the side lunge, just a nice little stretch into that lunge. Good, and up. Okay, next one, sorry, keep jogging on the spot. Beautiful. Okay, next one, we're just going to some standard, standard body weight lunges, getting our body moving in that moving pattern for the workout. So what we're doing is we're just coming down on our left, then coming down on our right, keeping that chest up. And the thing with the lunge, ladies and gents, to make it easy for yourself, to make it more effective, always think about really driving through that heel of that front foot. So if we're coming up from that right lunge, driving in that right foot, drive that left foot, good. So six exercises, full body work. So now what this does, our heart rate's up, blood and oxygen is in full flow. Very important for the main part of the workout, good. Now keep jogging on the spot, okay. So exercise numero uno, haven't done this one for a while, is our squat slams. So in our feet, hip, hip width apart, chest up. We've got this imaginary ball, and then we come around our head and slam down as we squat down. Slamming down as we squat down, making that movement explosive, but also nice and controlled, keeping our back as straight as we can as we come down in the squat. And then we change each, at each round, we go different sides with the slams. Good, keep moving, keep moving. Okay, next one is our upper body work. So we're going into a push up and then into a floor push up. So if we're in that kneeling position, we go into our push up, we push up, we come back down, we bring our arms off the floor, and then we explode up. Normal push up, arms off the floor, and then explode up to the top. This is just working our body in two different ways. Normal press up, it's the exact same, you're coming up to the top, and then you load yourself down, hands off the floor, and then exploding up. So making sure always that you're coming up to the top in that push up and then we come down off the floor and then as like we would getting up to the top just exploding as fast as we can up into that top position. If you want to make it a little bit harder as well in that kneeling position when you bring your hands off and then you explode up you can bring yourself up to the all fours to make it a bit harder and then come back down onto your knees into that push up hands off and then up. Okay, next exercise, low walkouts into our knee to elbows. So we're gonna start in that press up position, okay? We're gonna bring our right knee up to our right arm, then our left knee up to our left, and then we're gonna come back onto our heels, 
in that, in that uh, mountain um, rocket launch position. And then we're going to come back into that kind of position. Back in, knee, knee, back into that position. Drive, drive. If you aren't comfortable with coming back into that rocket launch position, then that means all we do is we just bring that right knee into that right hand, left knee into that left. Really feel your abs squeeze at the top when you bring your knees into your chest. Good start. Okay, next one, crisscross half burpees. This is a new one. So what we're gonna do is we're gonna start, our starting position is feet hip width apart, okay? And what we're gonna do, when a crisscross, we're gonna hop our right foot behind our left, back into the front, Come to that half burpee position, back up to the top, and then if you can, try and do the other side. So left behind, then back in, and then into that half burpee. So it should look like this. If you're not comfortable with the crisscross bit, just stick to those half burpees. Or if you want to do that crisscross instead of doing the explosive, you just bring that right foot behind, then go down. Where's my water? Okay, so that's new. Sorry troops, this is one of my friends who knows that I've got my live on decided to think it was a good time to call. So, does that make sense, that exercise for everyone? That's a new one, perfect. Okay, next one. We've got our plank to rotations. So we're in that plank position, that forearm plank, and then we come onto our one side in that side plank position, lifting our right arm up, back in to that position. And then what we're gonna do is we're gonna change sides. So we're rotating from side to side, from one side plank to the other, whilst bringing our arms above us, looking up towards the ceiling. Good stuff. So really focusing on that rotational element, owning that side plank, coming around on our forearms, and then bringing your arm up above, looking up to the direction where your arm's going. Okay, and our last exercise of the round of the workout is front squat walks, and then we can add a little jump element into the arm if you want. So we come into that deep squat position, and we come one, two, Three, four, if you want to, and then a little jump at the end. Coming back, one, two, three, four. And then coming back into one, two, three, four, and then jump. So you can add that little jump element in if we want, but then if not, that's all good. How's that, everyone? Does everyone understand the exercises? We all good? I'll take that as a yes. So what we'll get doing, we'll get going in 20 seconds, catch a breather, catch some water, and then we get going. First round, 30 seconds on, 15 off. We go 10 seconds, ladies and gents, into our squat slams. Five seconds, 30 seconds on, 15 off. Three, two, one, let's go. We've got that ball, we're slamming it down. Feet hip width apart. The slam in the ball adds that explosive element to it. Really getting that heart rate up. Bringing that, those arms around your body, around your head, and then slamming it down as we squat down. Good. Under 10 seconds to go. First round might always seem a little bit tricky because we're getting our body going. Kick it into first gear. And rest, good. Next one is our push-up floor get-ups. So if we're in that knee position, we push up, and then we come down, hands off the floor, and explode up. Three, two, one. So in that knee position, push up, back down, hands off floor, and explode up. Or if you're just doing a normal push-up position, exact same. Adding in those push-ups, hands off the floor, and exploding up. 
Getting in that good upper body work, ladies and gents. Really focus on exploding up when you bring your arms off the floor. Last five seconds. And off. Good. Next one. Our low walkouts into our knee to elbows. So we're sitting back into our hips. Then we come forward in that plank position. Right knee up to right arm. Left up to left. And let's go. Sit back into those hips. Come into that press up position. Right knee to right. Left to left. If you're not comfortable with the rocket launches, just driving your knees up. Feeling your core, engage at the top. Good. 10 seconds. Let's go, team. Kick it into second gear. Last rep. And off. Good. Next exercise crisscross half bird piece. Jumping our foot behind, right behind our left, coming back into that position, into that half bird piece. Three. Two, one, and let's go behind, down, and change sides. If you're not comfortable with that, just stepping instead, then coming to that half burpee, stepping that foot behind, or just coming to that half burpee position. Good, 10 seconds. Last little push, last five. And off, good. Next one, our plank rotations. So we're coming onto our side plank, raising our right arm above our heads, looking in the direction of our arm, and then we rotate into our left. Let's go. So right arm up, rotating onto your left side, and then the left arm comes up. Try to keep your body as straight as it can in that plank position. Last 15 seconds. Whatever we're doing, we are not dropping to the floor. Last five, keep pushing. And rest. Last exercise around, front squat walks. So in that deep position, feet hip width apart, walking forward like a duck walk, adding in the jump at the end if you want to. Three, two, one, let's go. So one. Two, three, four, and up. And one, two, three, four, and we come back. And in that jump at the end if you want to. That's 50 seconds gone. Obviously the lower you go, the harder it is. But if you don't want to add in that jump, just walk you back and forth, similar to the duck walks. Last five seconds. And off. Good team. Round one done. Captain Rita. Everyone all good? Round one done. I guess no one has any questions. We're all good on that front. Okay, 30 seconds to go. Right, first gear done, round one done. Now, we ramp it up. We ramp it up. Let's go. 15 seconds into our squats, lads. So now, if we went round our right side, go around your left. Five seconds, 30 seconds on, 30 seconds off. Three, two, one, and let's go. So slamming that ball down, change sides from where you went originally. Good. Keeping those feet hip width apart. That's the problem with doing it inside. But that's all good, we don't let it stop us. Good, nine seconds. Really squeeze those glutes to drive your body up to the top. And rest, good. Next one is our push-ups, then our push-up floor get-ups. So coming down to that press-up, pushing up to the top, back down, hands off, and explode up. Three, two, one, 
down. So on your knees, then coming off the floor, hands off, and then you come up to the top if you want. Good. Obviously, the faster you do this, the harder it becomes. So you're putting in a lot of explosive reps, whether you're in the kneeling position or you stand in position. Seven seconds. Keep squeezing that chest to push your body up to the top. And rest. Next one, our low walkouts into our rocket launches, into our knee drives. Right knee up to right hand, left up to left. Three, two, one, let's go. Drive that right knee up, then left. Stick your back into those hips, launch yourself forward. Good. Really feel your core, squeeze at the top. As you bring your knees up, if you're not comfortable, we're sitting back into your hips. Just driving your right knee up to your right arm, left knee up to your left. Good, 10 seconds to go, ladies and gents, keep going. Last three seconds. And off. Next one, crisscross half burpees. Bringing that foot behind, hopping, coming to that top position and then down into that half burpee position. Three, two, one, and let's go. So feet behind, down into that half position and then we change sides in terms of which foot we bring behind our front foot. If not, just stepping that foot, then coming to that half burpee and then the other side. Or if not, just the half get ups, half burpees. Whatever you're comfortable with, just push yourself with what you're comfortable with. Five seconds. Keep pushing, and off. Next one, plank rotations. Rotating on our right side, lift your arm up. Looking towards where our arm's going. Bring it back down, and then rotate onto your left side. And let's go. Bring that arm up, bring it back in. Shifting onto your left. And vice versa with that hand. Facing towards the ceiling when you bring that arm up. Good. 15 seconds to go. Keeping your body as straight as you can, that side plank. Try not to let it dip. Last five. And off. We're starting. Next one, last exercise around. Our front squat walks. Adding in the jumps at the end if you want. Five, three, two, one, good. So chest up, coming forward, adding in those jumps if you want. And then coming back, feet hip width apart, really feeling your legs, control your body weight in that low position. 15 seconds gone, 50 to go. Good stuff, team. Last push. Seven seconds. Let's go. And off. Round two done. Catch breather. Next one for 40 seconds on 20 off. This is where we kick it up again. Quality music, what that means, you know what that means. You ramp it up, you find it in the head to push on. Good start, 25 seconds. Really make the most of the stress, in through those, out through the mouth. 15 seconds, and then 40 seconds of our squat slab. Feet hip width apart. Chest start, ready. Five, three, two, one, and let's go. Keep squeezing those glutes to push yourself up to the top and all for upward face to the rest. You want to make the most of each treatment, ladies and gents. Making that slam explosion. We're in our zone now. And now we're ramping up to 40 seconds. Our stronger legs, our bulletproof legs, more weeks before. 
know how to cope. Good, eight seconds. Man, you're chopping that hacksaw down, that tree. And off. Next one is our push ups into our floor push ups. So if you want to make a slight more challenge to that leading position, when you come up, bring your knees off the floor at the same time. Five seconds. Ten three to three top lift. Let's go. And we go. So push up onto the floor. Bring your body up and then push up. Let's go. Go with the music. Find our flow. Whether you're in the kneeling position or the all fours position, push yourself as you always do. 50 seconds to go. Keep that fire burning. Keep that inner warrior flowing in you. Last seven. Just don't stop. And off. Good. Next one. Our low wall count into our knee drive. So right knee up to right arm, left to left. If you're not comfortable with low wall count, just stick it to the knee drives. Five seconds. Three, two, one, and let's go into that push up position. Right to right, left to left. Coming back into that low position, then drive your knees up. Good troops, really focus on finding that flow. Good shoes keep flowing, just the good energy, the good enthusiasm from us always stays. We're over halfway now. That walkout work, it's more subtle upper body work, building the bullet bulletproof foundations. Last rep, and off. Good stuff. Next one, a crisscross half burpees. Heart rate's gonna go through the roof. But we've been here many times before. We know what to expect when we push ourselves. Bring that right foot behind our left. Back into that half bed position and then vice versa. And let's go. Change sides, good. Hopping that right foot behind our left. Then our left behind that right. If not, just stepping, coming to that half bit up the position, and then stepping that right foot behind. That's halfway there. Keep pushing. It's tough, but the hustle is always worth it. Last 10. Keep pushing. Keep grafting. Last five. Stay with it, troops. Don't give up on yourself. And off. Next one, plank rotations. One side, bring that arm up. Look up towards where your arm's leaning. Bring it back in, switching sides. Five seconds. Three, two, one, and let's go. Bring that arm up, switching sides. Keeping your body straight in that plank position, meaning making sure that your hips aren't dropping or aren't raising to a normally high level. Keep grafting, keep hustling, let's go. It's doing really well ladies and gents. Whatever you do, just don't drop to the floor. Last seven seconds. Last four, keep going, just hold and off. Good team. Digging deep, that's what we're about. Last exercise around. Our low squat walks into our front squat jumps. Okay, team. Seven seconds. Three, two, one, and let's go. V hip with the pump. Coming forward, four steps. Jumping up and back. If you're not comfortable with the jump, that's all good. Just stay as low as you can go. Push yourself to the absolute limits. Good, 25 seconds to go. Earn that rest, really earn that rest. No, you always put in the graph. You always put in that energy. Keeping that chest up. 
Last 10. Stay with it. Legs might be burning, but we, we love the burn. Five seconds. Let's go. And off. Good stuff, team. Three rounds done. Two more rounds. So compose yourself. This is our moment. You might be blowing. It's where you psych yourself up. Finding that inner strength inside of you that's always there. Should we get as pumped up as me? I know you are. Oh, gee whiz. It's tough. But we keep going. 15 seconds into our squats house. Two rounds to go. 10 more seconds. Compose yourself. Get ready to fight every second. And let's go. Be hit with a pop. Imagine you're chopping down that tree with your ups with your axe. <sighs> Feet hip width apart. Squeeze your glutes to bring your body weight up. <sighs> Good stuff, team. Find your zone. <sighs> Let's push. 50 seconds to go. Keep squeezing those glutes. Keep pushing to the end. And off. Next one. Our push ups into our push up floor get ups. So, whether you're on your knees or you're in a normal push up, we just don't stop. It doesn't matter if you need to that split second, we keep going. Five seconds. Three, two, one, and let's go. Keep squeezing your chest to bring your body up to the top. Hands off, really explode up. Whether you're on your knees or on your fours, dig deep, team. That is what we are all about in this class. We always dig deep. If you're coming onto your fours, then shift your hips up and then coming back down. Good. 10 seconds. Keep going. You're doing really well. And off. Good stuff. Next one. Oh, low walkouts in two. Oh, oh, knees to elbows. Drum that right knee up to your right elbow, left to your left. Let's go, team. Three, two, one. Into that press up position, right to right, left to left. Back into that almost frog squat position or rocket launcher, whatever you're all comfortable with. Coming out, propelling your body forward, driving those knees up. You found your rhythm, although well, it might be tough, you just gotta to think to yourself, giving up's never an option. When we don't give ourselves that option, it doesn't become reality. Seven seconds. Last rep. And off. Next one, crisscross half burpees. Right foot coming behind that left, then up down to the half burpee, left coming behind that right. Five seconds. Our team is struggling, but we keep each other going. Let's go. Left behind right, right behind left. You're gonna be feeling the sweat. You've earned that hustle. You've earned that graph. You always earn the graph. 20 seconds. Come on. Dig deep. Find that inner beast. We've all got it. Nine seconds. Last push. Last rep. And off. Next one, plank rotations. 
in that side plank position, bring that arm up above, back down and change sides. Five seconds. You might be blown, but we gotta keep going. Let's go. Keeping that side plank stable. Try and make you sure our hips don't drop, team. If you're not comfortable with that, just stay in the plank position until time is up. Whatever you do, you're not allowed to drop to the floor. For your own sake, it's all for your own good. Body and mind. Less than 10 seconds. Keep going to the very end. And off. Last exercise around is our front squat walks. Keep going, team. Keep smashing it. Put in that squat jump if you want. Five seconds. Then we end our rest. Let's go. Let that mentality of no one or nothing stopping you push you through till the end. That is no option. Let's push. That's why we're here. That's halfway. 20 more seconds to go. Earn that rest. Stay with yourself, troops. No giving up on yourself. Less than 10 seconds. Chest up. And rest. Good team. We've got one more round. Just one more. This is where we've really got to find it in ourselves to think, I'm dying, but there's no turning back. Think of all those moments where you push through and you've always done it. So if you're struggling more today, think back to all those times you struggled. All that progress you put in doesn't mean up to you now not putting in the shift. Okay, five seconds, troops. Into our squat slabs. And let's go. V hip width apart. Chest up. Squeeze your glutes to bring your body up to the top. Always chopping down that tree. You're going to be tired. Your legs are going to be feeling it. There's that old cliche. No pain, no gain. Especially in these workouts, we always put in that shift. 10 more seconds. Keep going. Fast five. And off. Next one, our push-ups and our floor push-ups. So coming down, pushing up, and drop it to the floor. Hands off the floor and exploding up. Five seconds. Three, two, one. Let's go, team. So we push up. Hands off the floor. Exploding up. Doesn't matter how tired you are, you just got to give it every last bit of your pride, your passion, your inner lines and lionesses. You are the leader of your own pack. Uh, lead by example. First they ask you why, then they ask you how. Let's go. Last one, and off. Next one, low walkouts into our knee drives. Right knee to left, right arm, left to left. Five seconds. Here we go, team. Fly through this. Push through. And let's go. Right knee to right, left to left. And back. Right to right, left to left. 
Feel your core, squeeze at the top. First they ask you why, they say why the hell are you doing these hits on a Saturday morning? And then they ask you, how have you gotten so fit? How have you gotten so strong? How have you been looking so good? This is why all these minutes of growth. Under 10 seconds to go. Last five, keep going to the end. And off. Next one, crisscross half burpees. Last 40 seconds of our burpee. These ones are killer. Only 40 seconds to go. Five seconds. Give it your all, team. Give it your all. And let's go. So right behind. Bend our left foot behind. Good. High energy always. Give it your all. Last round. If you're not comfortable with a crisscross. Just do the stepping. Either way. We don't stop. 50 to go. Keep fighting. Keep going. You're so close. Last one. And off. Next one. Plank rotations. Bring your right arm above your head. Bring it back down, then your left. Uh, seven seconds. Whatever we do, we don't drop to the floor. Three, two, one. Team, let's push. Uh, uh, you've got it inside you. Uh, we've all got the makings of greatness, but you've got to tap into our potential. It starts here, it starts now. Twenty seconds. Not dropping those hips. Not dropping to the floor. You've come so far. Win that battle. Always win. I know you do. I know you always do. And off. Uh, last exercise. Our no squat walks. It's what squat jumps. 40 seconds more exercise, and we've done the exercise. Five seconds. Three, two, let's go. Feet hit with the part. Chest up. Coming forward. And it in that chest. Let's go, fighters. Let's go. Keep you as low as you can to the ground. Really make your legs do the work. That's 20 seconds gone. Leveling up. Flames troopers. Absolute flames. Last five. And off. Oh, smashed it. Stand tall, let the oxygen pathways move and flow better around your body to allow us to recover more efficiently. Oh my goodness gracious. I just put on slightly more suitable music for a cool down. K Troops, yet again. Beast, amazing stuff. Honestly, there's no one quite like this class. Not being funny, but we are winners. We are winners. Okay, next, my cool down exercise. 
Gee whiz. Okay. Nice and simple. All we're going to do is we're going to try and reach down to both of our feet with our arms sliding down our legs, touching our toes. If you can't touch your toes, that's all good. Just feel that stretch in your hamstrings, the back of your legs. Oh. Some new moves in there, which nearly kill me off. I'm probably sure they killed you or guys off as well. But there's nothing better than you can't work out. It was killer. You got sweat dripping down your face and you put in that 100%. Okay, now we're just going to go into that side lunge. So feet slightly wider, and then we're going to go onto our left. So we're going to bend our left knee slightly, keep our right leg straight. The thing is, ladies and gents, those tiny little moments when we don't stop before the time is up, they might not seem significant in now, but if you're always stopping for that one second, you'll set a chain reaction where you're always stopped for that one second. And that accumulates, and that's your mind winning the game. So, so small, yet so, so significant. And change sides. So bending that right foot, right leg, sitting into our hips, keeping that left leg out nice and straight. Good stuff. Okay, now we're just going to go for an overhead. Lat stretch. Clasp your arms together. Bringing them over our head. Trying to bring them slightly behind our ears. So we're feeling that stretch in our shoulders. And also pointing them as far up to the ceiling as you can to engage our lats down our back here. Try and get a little bit of a stretch there. Hold for 10 more. Good, and off. Have a little sugar wiggle. And that is us done. Oh my goodness. Oh. 